the Bright Football Complex will become 100% Texas A&M football. All three floors, brand new locker room, brand new meeting rooms. One game does not make a season, but it starts a narrative of how you want to go about your business. A.J. breaks a tackle down the right sideline after 10, cuts back to the numbers, still on his feet. A.J. Six for six from 25. Yeah, they're gonna get it. They ain't gonna give it to you. Get there the same way you just got here. One play at a time, one situation at a time. Love, trust, and believe. Stay true to the process. Everything will be good. When we do things right, we're always gonna do things right. We're always gonna be here. We are gonna dominate the game. Put your will upon it. Covington, Louisiana native Edger and Cooper is fast to the football and a solid tackler when he gets there. He's a Southern boy with the down home feel to him. And he sure is comfortable right in the middle of the Aggie defense. High energy, very twitchy athletic, can run, hit you, loves the hit, loves the game of football. Uh, he's really developing himself as a linebacker, learning. I say you see all those flash plays when he runs and his athleticism and covering and doing things, but now he's really grinding and becoming a much better player on individual reads and how he fits and does things, all the details. And when you combine that with the great athleticism, eventually he's going to be, and I say eventually, he's really a good player, but I'm talking about he, I think he has a chance to be a really, really good player if those things keep developing. Coop, I love him. He's, he's an aggressive player. He, he knows what he's doing. He's confident, and when we call on him to go blitz, he's right there. He doesn't hesitate. He doesn't wait. A lot of linebackers are not as fast as Coop. You know, Coop is faster than a lot of you know DBs in our league. So it's good to have a guy like him on our defense. He is selfless. No, it doesn't say a lot. Very quiet guy, but just speaks with his actions and his energy and the way he runs, and uh, and does things. But always got a smile on his face. You can coach him, coach him hard. You get on him, yes sir, and gets after it. And you know, it means something to him. He wants to play well. He's a great young man. Coop's greatest attribute is, is he's extremely comfortable in his own skin. He understands who he is. He's proud of where he comes from. He carries his name well, and he doesn't try to put on a show for anybody. You know, he's country, he likes to hunt. Um, he'll listen to country music, he'll listen to hip hop, rap, but he's comfortable in, in all those areas of his life. And I think that's what makes Coop um, who he is and how likable he is uh, as a young man is, you know, he's, he's just the same guy every day. He's content trying to track down an opposing ball carrier, but pursuit of another game also has him at ease. Growing up in a sportsman's paradise, Cooper finds his happy place out on the hunt. We, we've hunted together. We've been out there and hunted together. I'm out there in the ranch and shot and been around, and I love being around Cooper. He's awesome, man. He does it all the time and does things. He's a great outdoor, he's an outdoors guy, and he's a fun guy to be around. Yeah, he's a very country guy. You know, you wouldn't notice that by talking to him, but like outside of football, you know, he, he do a lot of hunting. Hog hunting. That's all I gotta say. With hog, you can hunt all year round. You know, you can go out whenever you want to. You know, there's really no restrictions on it. So that's the fun part about it. Just going out whenever you able to. You don't have to wait till a certain season. It's like his safe place. It's like for for him to get away and for him to to clear his mind is him going hunting. Coop has a lot of fun with it. He loves to go hunting. He'll go during the week, things like that. So I heard it's a, like a fun thing to do. I never been hunting, so it'll be good for me to go sometime. Then we just go out different fields that we got permission to hunt on. Then we just scan with the thermal so we can get them. Can't really see them in the trees. So he over there working the drone, trying to push them out. Then if something comes across, we end up go stealth mode and walk up to them, sneak up on them, and just let it rip from there. We're on this side. Yeah. Yeah. How many yards? He's, he's good. About 100 feet. Running. Running. Finally got one down. Man. Uh, that was a tough shot right there. He was about 100, 150 yards running. Stuck it, right, stuck it right out in front of him, and we ended up following him with the drone. And he's laying down right here. Night one. It's, a, it's, it's always successful when you can at least get one. 
but you know me, never satisfied. You know, I always gotta come out and uh, try to get a group of them. You know, I like to get four, five, six of them. But part of it happens, you know. Hopefully next time we come out, we can get on a group of them. The Pulse Texas A&M football is presented by 44 Farms, the official beef of Texas A&M Athletics, and ABC Home and Commercial Services, official pest control partner of Texas A&M Athletics. For the first time this season, the Aggies will leave home. It's off to Arlington for the annual Arkansas matchup. Then three more away games are extended across October. But don't expect this team to get weary on the road. Yeah, it's, it's a long time without seeing like 12th man fans and Kyle. But um, I, I mean, I'm excited. Away games are a lot of fun. I kind of like all the noise whenever we have the ball. We're basically going to be on the road for like, you know, a month. I don't think I've done that since the three years that I've been here going on to my fourth. So this would be the first. I don't think. It plays a factor for me personally because in life you get ups and downs. Some things won't always go how you want it to and sometimes you can't always set everything up the way you want it to be. And if that's how our schedule's set up, for us to have a stretch of away games, how we have to stretch our home games, I'm completely fine with that. I know that it won't phase us in any way. We'll still have the same mindset and preparation going into every game every week. It takes incredible coordination to map out the trek for an elite football program. Everyone behind the scenes is an important piece of the puzzle. Wednesday night, truck loading party. It's trying to pack up coaches, staff, players, training room, video, academics. Basically taking your entire house and uh, moving it to a new venue so you can uh, work there. The first road games are always the toughest, just because you're, you are you do have that thought, you know, did we forget something? Our guys, uh, they do a great job. We have 16 students who, it's kind of become a pretty good, well-oiled machine now. There's definitely a system to it. Uh, first thing that goes in is game day only stuff. In the meantime, you've got uh, hotel stuff that comes in. All that goes to the very back, because that's the first thing off. It's like, like the old Tetris. And so we're packing the front of the truck, we're packing the back of the truck, and then when practice ends tonight, player bags are the last thing we do. So right now we're loading up the player bags. The players load up what they want. They want uh, put their cleats, anything special they want to wear, and then we pack their shoulder pads, game loop, helmet, and jersey, and thigh pads and knee pads. And, um, our, our students grab their bags, they check, and highlight it off, and get on the truck. Just getting ready for SEC, you know it's going to be a hard week every week. You know, great football team. You know, they're a great football team. You know, they can bring a lot of energy. They got to be ready to play. Um, I don't expect nothing less out of them. Yeah, top 10 team, top 10 team uh, in the country. Very physical on both lines of scrimmage. Uh, very well coached, played very hard. Sam does a great job with those guys, got them coached up well, and, and anyway, it's going to be another great game. It's a big match, but every game we play is a big match, regardless of who we're facing. I'm excited. I, I am excited. It's hard for me to fully describe how I'm feeling, but what I can say is that they're a great team. We're a great team. It's going to be a battle from the first whistle to the very last.
And when I mean the next step of coming together and executing on all three phases of the entire football game. It's that simple. It's time to grow up. We have a ton of heart. We have a ton of guts. We have guys that will play hard. We have guys, now we have to play hard and play well. Be a hero today. You know what a hero is? A guy that does his job every play. A guy that does his job every play. Like your mom, your grandma, and everybody else did to put you where you're at. A hero. Sacrificing everything for the betterment of the team and the betterment of somebody else. And all of a sudden, you know what comes back to you? All of a sudden, you do things because you have to on the situation, and you become the hero. Heroes just do their job, and plays come to them. Play don't care who makes it, man. Do your job. It's the Aggies and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Fake to Sanders. Jefferson in the pocket will run up the middle, and he has a ton of room. Into Aggie territory at the 40, the 35, down at the 31-yard line. Receiver screen left side and wide open down the left sideline. It is a 32-yard touchdown. And like last year, Arkansas strikes quickly. Arkansas strikes first. Max Wright goes in motion left to right, setting a block for Devon A. Chain, and he's going to lose five yards. Johnson rolls, avoids pressure, and he will run at the 25, at the 30. Ahead dives near the 35, but marked a yard shy. Jefferson from the shotgun. Jefferson going deep down the middle of the field, and he's got Thompson. Touchdown. 13 0 Arkansas. The start is not ideal. The Razorbacks are sharp early. Down and pinned deep. The Aggies need someone to make a play fast. Devon A. Chain, big hole, 25, 30, 35, 40, outside the numbers on the left side, into Arkansas territory for the first time, all the way to the 30-yard line. Devon A. Chain rips off the big run. It's about time. 63-yard gain for Devon A. Chain. Up the middle, A-Chain to the 25-yard line. A-Chain around the left side, cuts back inside the numbers, still on his feet to the 15-yard line. A-Chain running hard. Johnson, designed run inside the 10-yard line. Max Johnson on a third, and we're calling it five from the Arkansas 10. To the end zone, touchdown, Evan Stewart. He's still, baby. Jefferson out to backs. Well short tackled at the 47-yard line. Jalen Jones, Antonio Johnson. And it'll be fourth down. They might go. They're going. Jefferson wants to run up the middle and does. Avoids a tackle. And finally, Jordan Gilbert gets him at the 39. Slant. Hazelwood. Ah, oh, he's gonna get inside the five. Yeah. Touchdown saving tackle by Antonio Johnson. Jefferson right up the middle, dives! Fumbled in, it is Tyreek Chappelle at the 10, the 15, and still on his feet down the left sideline. Can he hand it off? He did! To Devontae Richardson! He's gone! And the Aggies are going to tie this game! What a change, of course! Jefferson fumbled it into the hands of Chappelle. He runs up the left sideline. Devontae Richardson comes over and says, give it to me. Despite a missed extra point, AM puts the brakes on the Hogs' momentum and turns the game around on a dime. Electric final 30 minutes awaits. Again, offense had a great drive, 90-some yard drive. Defense made that play. Now he's got to relax and play. Thanks for the time. Thank you. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented by 44 Farms, the official beef of Texas A&M Athletics, and ABC Home and Commercial Services, official pest control partner of Texas A&M Athletics. But the poison district's got to be in. You got to execute. Can't have the bus on defense. Can't have the motion penalties on offense. Keep your poise. Relax to what you got and go. Okay? Yes, sir. Figure out what you got to do. It's, 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 when we come, it's when we become a team right here on this half. All right? 
We've had everything happen right there. It's over with. 14 13. Let's go play a half ball right now. Yes, sir. Lock in. Snap to Johnson's right. Max will run up the middle. Max tackled, but an eight yard gain for him. A couple yards shy of midfield. Fake to A chain. Pressure coming. A chain picks it up. Complete. Inside the 40. Donovan Green stays on his feet for the Aggie sideline. Upended at the 22 yard line. A 26 yard gain to the Aggie tight end. Rolls to his right, does the left hander. Stops, now runs, now throws. And a nice catch by Evan Stewart at the eight yard line. He climbed the ladder, made the grab. He's inside the 10, and he tightrope that right sideline. Handoff, A chain, left side, cuts back, up the middle. And A chain into the end zone. Six for six from nine yards out. The Aggies have their first lead. Uh, they started a sweep to the left side. It didn't take it. He didn't go outside. He saw a cutback and took it, and he went untouched into the Arkansas end zone. Low snap to Max Johnson. He's in the pocket, has time over the middle. That's complete. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Anias to the 15. He's got the first down right down the seam. Devon, left side, cuts in. Upended at the 12. He nearly got out of that tackle. Slant. Mar uh, Stewart, incomplete. Clark shoved him out of bounds. He made the catch. He was out of bounds. Trips to the right. Stewart, the single receiver to the left. Oh, we Aggies we moved. moved. The Aggies came out of halftime hot, but cooled a tad when they settled for a Randy Vaughn field goal. It gives A&M their first two-score lead. Arkansas is missing that momentum they had early. They go in search of it again. 10-15 left, fourth quarter, 23-14 Aggies. First and goal from the six for Arkansas. Jefferson low snap. He keeps right side, touchdown. RPO, fake to Dominion, runs it in. 23 to 20. After the Aggies miss a field goal, Arkansas only needs to make one of their own. Down just two. The Razorbacks get one more possession. But now a third and it's got to be seven again. Two receivers to the left. Fake to Sanders. Jefferson collapsed. Here comes Stewart. Rolls to the left. Cooper's got him. Hits him as he throws. Completes at the 40-yard line. Handoff up the middle and a whole lot of room to the 30-yard line before Raheem Sanders is taken down. A couple of tight ends, single receivers each side. Jefferson pressured from the right, up the middle. Out of the tackle with Fidel Diggs. Down to the 21-yard line, a gain of 10. Second and five to Sanders, hit by Chappelle, loose on the deck. Who's got the ball at the 25? Arkansas fell on it on a, ter a terrific play by the Aggie D and a terrible snap that Raheem Sanders, the running back, had to fall on. In motion goes Hazelwood. Jefferson in the pocket, runs up the middle. Jefferson tackled at the 23 from behind by Edger and Cooper. Yeah! Yeah! And Arkansas is gonna let this clock run before they bring on Cam Little. This will be placed just inside the left hash. The 32, a 42 yard attempt for Cam Little to give Arkansas the lead with 135 remaining. 23-21 A&M. Little, a 42 yard attempt from the left hash. He gets the kick on the way. Hits the upright! No good! No good with 130 remaining! And only, well, and only one Arkansas timeout left. You can almost end this thing. Oh, you can run it out. You can run it out. Steps back, takes a knee. 35 seconds left, and they do not have to run another play. No, the fighting Texas Aggies, a 23-21 win. They take down the top 10 team after taking down the top 15 team last week. They are three and one, and they open SEC play with a 23-21 win over the Arkansas Razorbacks. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We did it! Turn it off!
trophy. Hey, you know what, turn us up. 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 Come on in here, man. Come on in here, guys. Come on. So again, I, again, I, I, I'm proud as hell of you. There's an un unbelievable amount of heart. There's an unbelievable amount of competitiveness and, and character in this in this room. Okay, and I am ecstatic for that. We 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 have a chance to be a good football team, guys. But I'm gonna get to butts right now. We got we got it. Why they're fresh in your mind? We have way too many self-inflicted wounds, guys. Not playing with discipline and what we're doing. I mean, motions, shifts on offense, not getting set, not doing that, hitting big plays, having them called back, having things done. I mean, and just playing carelessly in things we're doing. Okay, defensively, we, we're doing a great job of keeping points and doing things. But we got to get what? We got to stop that run a lot better. We had some what? The runs all came from Mr. Simons and Fitz. Am I right? Mm -hmm. And then we got to get off the field on what? Third down. Okay, and you're doing it better. And I'm not. I'm not down on anybody, guys. I'm just saying right now when you. Take a deep breath when you're able to pull one like that out and really self-reflect on yourself. Without, you got by it, but listen, you got to learn from that. You know what I'm saying? And not let those same things keep lingering so we can grow. Guys, there's a hell of a football team in here, man. It's waiting to come out, but the only way it's going to come out is through those, those intangibles we talk about. Playing with great toughness, great effort, great discipline. But we got to self-reflect and not have these same knucklehead things we're doing over and over to ourselves. The people can't stop us, okay? And handle our business. But I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm so proud of you. Because you know why? We won the damn game! Yeah! Yeah! Victorious, but not flawless. Lessons are still to be learned. There's no lack of competitiveness. There's no lack of toughness. There's... But like I tell our kids all the time, great effort and toughness without execution is wasted to a point. Now we got through it. And vice versa, you can execute you want, but if you don't play with great toughness and competitiveness, that, there's a fine line there. And sometimes you can press too hard. You just gotta keep relaxing. Now, there's great teaching tools there as you win a game and then you can see all the mistakes. And I think our, well, we have to take a deep, hard look at ourselves and make sure to not allow those things to continue. And, but there's a lot of good, but there's a lot of bad and that's, you know, who can keep improving each week? Visual learning in this case. The Aggies have seen it in themselves now to fight back. So they know they can do it again. The urgency to understand the urgency to get back in it, and then the urgency to take a lead. Now you gotta continue to finish. And you sometimes it just takes experience that and you always say, oh, I know I can go do that. But until you do some things, there's still a question mark in the back. I don't care what you I don't care if you're doing what your job is, what my job is, what a business owner does, what a stockbroker does. I mean, you know, those ebbs and flows and say, oh, I know I can, and I, what I want to do, but once you do it, then you become confident in how you do it, and that allows it to get better.